you know what? I don't even know how the whole backdrop thing is going to work anymore. Because now that this big ass... I finally broke down. There's a couch here. There's a couch. And it's not just a couch. It's a sectional. And it's fucking huge. And it now lies in the middle of my living room where my backdrop usually sits. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to move this shit to the right, to the right. And then I can move my backdrop back in. But since I'm not about to do that all right now, and I need to talk to y'all about Empire. I hate that fucking glare. I think I'm going to start keeping like bounce sheets all around my house. Because this one just randomly fell out of my clothes yesterday. But my entire house smells like this damn bounce sheet. Just off this one bounce sheet that already has been through one cycle in the clothes. Got my whole apartment smelling all bouncy and shit. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. Anywho, did y'all watch Empire last night? Can we talk? Because I couldn't even deal. Okay. So, let's just jump right into the part that snatched my entire... Oh, I wasn't even ready. Okay, so... Andre and the little um, Lucius assistant is scheming on how to make him the CEO of Empire. So they decided it was going to have this little panel vote for if, you know, Lucius happens to fall over and die, which he's going to be doing pretty soon because he has ALS. So they had the panel to vote for Andre or they had to take like a little poll or whatever to see if Andre is capable of running or being the CEO. Co-CEO, excuse me. So, everybody went on the table. It was like four no's and three yeses or something like that. Including Lucius saying no. Because Lucius ain't no fool. He was hip to Andre's game about how he um, was trying to bamboozle his spot into the CEO. Or bamboozle into the CEO spot. That's what I meant to say. And he also said, he also revealed that he didn't trust his son when he bought home that the white girl. The little shady white girl. She's shady in herself because she be all gung-ho for all these scheming ass plans to get him to the top. But then when the shit hit the fan, she wanted to start getting scary. Because what happened was she needed the, he needed the vote of one of the women on the panel. And the woman liked girls, blonde girls to be exact, which his wife is. So they were going to go to his house and find out that, come to find out, he's, she's married to some old man in a wheelchair and that Andre was going to sleep with her. And his, Andre's wife was going to sleep with the old man in the wheelchair. But they didn't know he was old in the wheelchair until they showed up. So, that's just a mess. So, when all this happened, at the white party, um, Andre and the little man, you know he took he stopped taking his pills. Andre stopped taking them bipolar pills. So, you know, he crazy as a cuckoo clock anyway. So... He got ready to um, talk to the assistant man about it. He said it's going to be handled, whatever good stuff. So after they finally, you know, exposed him for the crook he was and he realized that he really don't got shit to offer this company, but a whole bunch of numbers and coins. He went into the studio and I'm sitting there on the, I'm sitting on the couch. Let me, I'm, this, this is going to be a reenactment. I'm sitting on the couch, minding my business, watching the episode like, oh, okay. So Andre in the studio, he getting ready to put down some tracks. He going he gonna to show them the people that he can he can um, sing or something or rap or do poetry or something. So I'm sitting there watching. I'm like, okay, Andre about to give us life. Man, he pulled that gun out of his pocket and put it up to his head. I was like, oh, oh, wait, Andre, no, don't do it. Don't shoot. Don't, Andre, no, wait. I was like on the floor. Of my liver, I couldn't even deal. I was like, just don't do it, Andre. <laughs> I swear I was a real angle. My stomach hurt so bad. You know how when you get nervous? I was nervous for him and I wasn't even the one in a damn studio. I just didn't want to get I didn't want to get take a bullet. So he pulled the trigger, but luckily I guess he was playing Russian roulette with himself and it wasn't nothing in the, the barrel or the chamber or I don't know how that gun things works. Anywho, so that's his story, and I died. So um What's his name? Jamal came out the closet. He came out the closet during the performance at the white party in the middle of his song. How a man loves a man, a man loves a man. That um, up down, up down, up down. Hakeem must have wrote that part because that part is cheesy as fuck. 
Like, I'm so down for the, you're so beautiful. I like the song, but then that go up, down, up, down, up, down. Like, I, I just don't get where that part fit in. I, I, I was like, Hakeem must put that in there. Because that part is whack. Jamal did the rest of it, and he said, oh, let's do this. With his old non-talented ass. Um, What else? Cookie and Lucius had got back together last episode. Or they was boning. With the intention on getting back together. However, um, little Boo Boo Kitty found out. Or she actually saw them. And basically gave him ultimatum. Like, look, you either need to marry me tomorrow. Or I'm booked. I don't need this. So... He said no. He said he'll marry her next week after the white party. She is going to work with the enemy, but ready. However, so next week it's going down because um, Cookie gonna tell on her ass. Cause she gonna find out somehow, some way that um, Boo Boo Kitty is messing with Beretti, and it's going down next weekend or next um, Wednesday. It's only three episodes left, and Empire is still climbing the ratings chart. Fox didn't know what they was doing. What's that man name that wrote this damn show? He did this. He really did. You better bring these um, Fox people some money. Anywho, that was basically it. Yeah, Hakeem still dating O, sold her soul to a devil ass Naomi Campbell. That woman ain't aged since I don't know when. That's why I believe she probably may or may not have sold her soul to the devil. Um, other than that, that's basically it. So, y'all better be watching if you aren't. Because they done got me hooked. I'm pissed off that it's about to be over in three episodes, but that's neither here nor there. So let me know what you guys think about Empire Down in the Gotcha Gotcha Bar. And um, it airs on Wednesday nights at 8 or 9. Check your local listings, okay? That's how that's how I cover that base. So <laughs> I love you guys for watching. Peace. This couch got to move. I don't know where it's going, but I got to go. Let me. I got space. Okay, maybe I don't.